Mike Taylor Live is presented by Texas Cheer Liquor. Live from San Antonio, Mike Taylor. Well, 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 once again, live from San Antonio, Tejas. Back on the Pornhub couch. Good to see you, boys. You like the black background we have tonight? Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, look at that. Damn, that looks way more official. I need that some bitch at my place in Hawaii. Why? You seen what I have? Okay. It's all nailed up there. I'm gonna get fined so much money when I move from there because of the holes I put in the walls doing our show twice a week there. Um, because I, I guess you can get what's it? What's it called? Spackle? Don't yes. Fuck with my dolphin. Spackle. Yeah. Get your hand off my dolphin. <laughs> I asked for permission. Okay. <laughs> The metaphor is enough. <laughs> it doesn't need reenactment. Get your dolphin off me. Keep your dolphin to yourself. That's how we roll. Oh, I know. We do it till you love us and just accept it. Us manta rays have no time for your nonsense and your sexual aggression. Your unwanted uh, sexual what's aggression. What's that stuff you put in holes to fill it in? Spackle. Dolphin meat? Spackle. spackle. Spackle, yes. I need to go get a shit ton of spackle and fill all the holes. You got to see it. It looks like a heroin addict's arm along my walls. Just track a bunch of holes everywhere. Well, you can't just put spackle. You have to paint it afterwards. You have to sand it down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah. sand it. That's the first step of the I'm gonna process. I'm going to spackle it. I'm going to spackle it. Sand it. Paint it. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to do all that. I have. Dude, I'm going to get find out the yin-yang. How do they? <clears throat> like, of <clears throat> all the apartments I rented in college, <laughs> yeah. I put all kinds of communist posters you just on every wall. Out of there. Yeah, and I never got char- I never. Like, dude, I got looks, every deposit back. It looks back. like a Tommy gun sprayed the wall, dude. It's, I'm going to have to bad? fix it. Yeah, it's real bad. I'll send you a picture in a couple of three months when I get home. But that'll be in a couple of three months, Holmes, because I'm in San Antonio for the summer, at least until the end of July. And so here we are live from Lawrence's house. It is Mike Taylor Live presented by Texas Cheer Liquors. Subscribe to this thing, like this thing, and share with your homies because we love you hard. Uh, you can go to loveyouhardtv.com to watch all of our shows. You can just go to YouTube and put my name in there, and you can watch all the stuff we do. If you don't know, I am a highly successful, and I mean highly successful, Sports talk radio host in South and Central Texas. San Antonio mostly. Austin's still a working progress, but I'm on in multimedia markets. And now we're doing this side hustle to keep Puma motivated. And <laughs> a few sponsors later, here we are. What's up, Texas Cheer Liquor? The What's motivation up? just keeps growing. Well, we're trying, Holmes. We're, we're absolutely trying. We're in here getting drunk. 
uh, and me me drinking and you drinking. What is that? Your Millennial Ranch water. I've got more of my really super strong French beer. Just because you've never heard of it doesn't mean it's millennial. <laughs> like again, tequila and soda water has been around for decades. Not any, not for where I grew generations. up. Not where I grew up. Lawrence, you ever had ranch water? Uh, only the cheap generic seltzer versions of it that like Carbach put out and so a bunch, how bunch of other companies. When did you first start drinking that? I've only tried it like twice, like maybe okay. like a year ago. Yeah, yeah, right. I never even heard of it before a year ago. Honestly, I, he I heard of it through him. No. Well, when did you first learn of vodka sodas? A, a vodka soda drink. Nineteen eighty. Okay. Yeah, like Tequila's been around. 13. Tequila soda's been around that long. It's when did not they start calling new, it yeah, ranch water? Though. Yeah, that's a popular drink. What you're what you're talking about? I've never heard of that before. I, again, I, it's. Topo and tequila to me. Okay. I mean, it's Topo ranch Chico water. Topo Chico wasn't even around in 1990. But soda water was. What's up, little dog? Did the Mexicans have Topo Chico in 1990? I'm going to go out on a limb and say Topo is older than me. Yeah, it probably is, but that doesn't mean it was mainstream like it is, though. It was in certain parts of the world. But it still existed. People were still I'm putting tequila in soda water. I'm just, why can't I just talk and you let me get away with something? I don't know, because it's way more fun to bog us put down. Up with it's this? it's it's a miracle. God, I was just making a point about drinking booze from Texas and Cheer Liquor, our official presenter. Sideswiping my entire generation. I didn't mean to sideswipe. See, your generation gets offended at every turn. I was simply oh, talking. Oh, you mean we get offended when we get inaccurately portrayed by generations older than us? Or when I, we get called lazy argue. on a technology that we invented? No one <laughs> I knew as a kid drank seltzer anything. Anyone. You guys started drinking seltzer water out the ass. Uh, we are the most healthy generation. And Amon Singh, Mr. Singh, being the smart guy he is, half his damn beer sections probably seltzer this and seltzer that because... That's what you drink. So I just got you to admit, we were healthy. Well, yeah, you're the first healthy generation. The rest of us didn't give a shit. We were drinking booze. <laughs> okay. Why are you going to drive me healthy while drinking booze? You have, a, you have me there. You backed me into a corner <laughs> okay. there. God. Well, thank you, Mr. Singh and all the boys and girls Mr. over at Singh. Texas Cheer Liquor. Family owned. San Antonio people. When, they, uh, when we first came on board during this show, doing this show earlier this year, and he came on board with us. He had five locations. How many does he have now? Nine. How about that? You bet your ass. All right. Last night, we went like over two hours long. Well, the game kind of dictated the content last night. Hey, Darla, how my dictate? Remember that old joke? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say? Oh, yeah, we were on a long time last night. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Again. <laughs> we were watching the NBA Finals last night. Tonight, we've got Rangers and Astros. And I'm, I think huh. you agree we're not going to stop down and we're not going to react to the baseball game all night. Well, I mean, here if, and there. if Sam Huff parks one into the upper deck right here, I mean, this is a guy who's got three 500 home runs under his belt in the minors. You can't go more than 20 minutes without hearing Sam Huff on KJ97. Sucks. Who are we talking Sam about? Sam Huff a, does sound like some, oh, yeah. some affliction-wearing, <laughs> bedazzled <laughs> jeans, mm -hmm. opens for... The southern wing of Jason yeah. Aldean's tour. Look at Urkety's chain. I've got one similar. His is a little thicker than well, mine. Well, I mean. Yeah, well, I'm going to wear mine out like so he does. You're practically, <laughs> a, practically a major league starting pitcher. No, what are you doing sitting here? Much. Well, because I felt bad for you. Well, no, thank you. I'm not a major league starting pitcher. You know what? You were right about the 80s. About soda, water. No one drank seltzer. And liquor being invented in the 80s. Yeah. The 1880s. Correct. Because yes, folks correct. drank it in then. They, no, no, people drank it <laughs> so then. How is this, 19, so how is this a millennial drink? Go ahead, drink? make your dumb ass point. No, if, it was, it was, if it was invented when I didn't say it we was were still invented. having shootouts outside no, of the saloon. No. This is the same. I, this is an example of the Bidia taco, which has been around for centuries, too. Again, but not a millennial But no one thing. ate it in this part of the world until you guys Because y'all didn't value back. other cultures like my generation Doesn't matter does. if we didn't. Who gives a fuck about other cultures? The point is, y'all started bringing this we shit back. We give a back. fuck about other cultures. That's but the point. But y'all brought it back is the point. Yes. Oh, that's it. Point Taylor. I win. <laughs> was, it's a millennial it's thing. It's not a millennial. So, uh, enjoying uh, d delicacies from other cultures is a millennial thing? This particular one was re promoting y'all by, by you. Promoting the parts of other cultures that we like and enjoy and want others to 
become aware of and know about all that, all and enjoy. that's accurate that's yeah. all accurate but no one that nobody makes us my, the baddies that makes no us. one calls you bad see that's again you get offended at every fucking turn because i'm simply say saying <laughs> no one i knew as a kid and lawrence can back me up on this even though he's younger than me nobody in my mexican neighborhood ate bedia tacos i never heard of it to the last couple of years uh yeah I probably heard about it maybe six months ago. Yeah. The first time I tried one at a barbecue. It's okay. And that's ignorant. Y'all brought, okay, <laughs> they've y'all been around know, forever. But they've not been, been they eaten weren't around. in this part of the yeah. world forever. They weren't around. That's the point. They were around? What do you mean? They no, they around weren't. Me. No. I never saw them at any Mexican God, restaurant. Well, no. Not grew, in South Fort here. Worth, not in Glen Rose, not in San Antonio, but they've been exactly. around for a century. I'm not century. saying they haven't been around. I'm saying no one in this part they of the country been around me. ate them. Right. And it's our fault you frame it as a negative no fault now they're everywhere well yo they are everywhere there are a lot of places now well not you know where they're not taquerias in san antonio that's not they're in south town at fritz's food concept with your beer and chicken (laughs) they're actually at a food truck owned by a family on the east side come get our mole come get our mole tacos at our food concept consul exception food truck Bashing people that enjoy get we're not the bashing fuck anybody. Fuck out of here. We're not bashing anybody. Did uh, the Rangers won last night too? Didn't they? Uh, sweep of the Astros would get them back to five hundred here. Not that. Since you did ask, and that is uh, cool. Dak Prescott's former college uh, classmate. Wasn't Huff? It was the other guy, Nathaniel Lowe, oh, he former so, Mississippi he, State the Bulldog. Rangers are just, the Rangers have no character. God no, no, they don't. B- baseball doesn't like, want its up teams on my to have character. You won't let me. You, oh, you won't let me simply I won't say. Let you, I won't let you crucify my entire generation. I'm not. You take it as a negative. God I, damn it! I you love know how what? much this bothers you. I'm getting up and I'm going to leave here. I'm going to DM your wife and God damn it! Y'all go have beer and tacos. We probably should. Yeah. yeah, for the third time in my life. I know some I'll good places tacos. where you can get authentic. Sure. Family recipes. There's probably some dude with a beard that goes down to his navel that calls his restaurant a food concept, and we'll go get it there at the Fusion Food Concept. Yeah, and his name's Juan, and he's serving his family recipes from the old world. His family didn't eat it maybe 14 that's, generations that's, ago. That's, no, this is the same thing as, you know what else y'all have done that's been around forever uh-huh, that you guys uh-huh. have re-brought back, reintroduced right. to mainstream society. Like, you go to a grocery store, and you'll see, like, ancient grains. Have you, have you noticed that shit? Yes. Ancient I've, grain. I've, what the fuck's an ancient know, grain? So the, hey, so about, you would have eaten hayseed? I don't know. <laughs> what the I, hell? I think it's, it, doesn't that just mean it's like less processed? I, yeah, I it guess. It just means it's more raw. It's dirt out yeah, of the ground. basically. Yeah, with some poppy seed. That's ancient grain cereal now for eight bucks a box at Whole Foods or whatever. I'm not bagging on you. I like media tacos. I had never heard of them until the last six to 12 months. And the reason that... I heard of them in the last six to twelve months is because people have started bringing them back. Oh, y'all what brought, people y'all brought it back? You people, you millennials. Mm. Mm. I'm not saying they suck. I'm not saying they shouldn't be eaten or they're not good or they're not healthy. Y'all brought those back, mm-hmm. and I also would make the same case with ranch water. Back to my original point. Well, regardless of who invented it, it's sure. Let me taste or the who thing. brought it. Never back. even had the shit. All it's just water and tequila. With a splash that literally of lime. Is, that's it? I mean, Topo. I'm lick the whole thing. Yeah, lick it down. I don't care. You think that's going <laughs> to... What do you think that? What do you think that's doing to me right It'll now? It'll be the fourth time I've given you some sort of illness. It's only four? Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. um, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's just... I can drink that all night. As do I. As oh, you saw okay. last night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you've lost weight drinking that shit. It helps. Right, very good. I'm drinking high-calorie beer myself. Yeah, I bet that is heavy. Yeah. French shit. La Fille du Mont. Longest live spot of all time just now on our show. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Mr. Singh. And thank you, Hector, who just spotted us two bucks. Mexico won. Jamaica won. 66 minute. Pretty yeah, I good. saw Mexico tied it up right before the first half whistle. That's good. Mexico. Is it, though? They'll shut out the U.S. 2 nothing and lose to Jamaica. Showing up for the they show up for the competition, those Mexicans. Dos Acero <laughs> is the US shutting out Mexico to nothing. And then they usually go and Mexico's got a stop winning Jamaica. record in the last twenty years against US, don't they? No. You sure? Last twenty years? Yeah. Maybe last twenty years. No, three. Probably still twenty. Yeah, last twenty 10. years. How about for the sure. last ten? Ten, I bet it's damn near fifty fifty. 
Really? Five, I bet, okay. U.S. finally right. has it. All right. It's, I mean, it's starting to shift, but Mexico still has the higher expectations and should. Yeah. Now I got to Google it to learn. Yeah, now you got to know. You've sent me That's down fine. a wormhole. That's fine. If you want to see this, this kind of bitching back and forth during games, um, oh, we don't always bitch. You just get so easily offended. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, U.S. has kicked I was ass. 100% right to be defiant about Last the Last 20. 20 years, what is it? Since the year 2000, the U.S. has 17 wins, 9 losses, okay. 7 ties. Okay. That's good. So, more wins than losses and ties combined. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. And Why did I think different? Must have been some other well, team. Well, all time, the U.S. is 22 wins, <clears throat> 36 losses. And 16 ties. Oh, all time. But that goes back to uh, 1950. Yeah, who gives a shit about that? Back when the U.S. finished third at a World Cup. There and I'll were, bet, there the, were only I'll bet every guy on the Mexican national team, his Viasca's parents are like, ¿Dónde está Viria Tacos? No, no sabes. No, they, again, <laughs> literally, <laughs> but like millennials brought Viria Tacos back because we traveled to Mexico to cities that hadn't you went traditionally to been because it's no. cool and some white dude had it Let, going again, <laughs> traveled instead of doing the shit that lazy Gen Xers did or Taco the shit Bell. that boomers did, where they never left the resort in fucking Cancun. Yeah, went to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and said, "Hey, don't you we fuck with Jimmy Mexico. Buffett? I'm gonna Do fuck Jimmy, fuck Jimmy Buffett so Jimmy hard Buffett. right now." Oh, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't throw Millennials. <laughs> Went to parts of Mexico that were authentic, untouched, <laughs> authentic. not tourist hotspots. The shithole and parts. And found delicacies like Beria Tacos. Delicacies. And now we can okay. bring them back See, since and you're, introduce you're gonna them. you're going to get mad, I'm just going to go ahead and make, I'm just going to give you reason to get mad. Oh, that works too. You went to shithole parts of Mexico where they were too poor to buy decent food, so they had to scrounge together a Beria Taco. I mean, again, you say yeah, decent but, food, I say a that's goat fine. that's been braised all day, slathered in cheese, and mm. melted in a in a tortilla. That can't be healthy for you. God, no. no. God, it's so bad. No. It's so bad And for then you. you dip it in the all the runoff yeah. broth. It's like, <laughs> no, it's awful for you. <laughs> but it's delicious. Hey, Lawrence, have I t- have you, we get ready to start hyping McFinnigan's? It's time. Yeah, didn't we drop that yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to get yeah, logos and shit built up. Or have you already done it? Mm, not yet. Okay. <coughs> I, get... need to, I need contact info for uh, whoever's running that joint over I'll there. I'll send you Ruben's contact info. Yeah, yeah. That's who's running that joint over there. This thing's going to be on remote. I'm excited to announce that. This Mike Taylor Live on July the 7th will be at a place called McFinnigan's in San Antonio, Texas. What day of the week is that? It's a Thursday. Thursday? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So what's that mean? July 4th is, do the math for me. Is Monday. that Monday? Mm-hmm. Oh, so we have a long mm. weekend. Ooh, nice. Mm. That's all I'm worried. That's Andrew all I'm remote. trying to figure out. Yeah. yeah okay, cool. So we have a, nice. I told Ruben I wanted to meet him. You want to run over there Friday night? Absolutely. Just have a quick beer. Yeah. Say hello. Introduce no herself. beer is ever quick. A quote unquote quick beer is like an hour of. Well, yeah. I, multiple de- rounds. Def- definitely yeah. an hour. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Quick beer is an hour. One beer is, means one hour of your time. Yeah. That checks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to meet the dude. McFinnigan's has been around for a long time in San Antonio. I wonder if Bregman ever got his money back Fort, from Lock and Terra. Four ten in what is it? Four ten in Blanco, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So McFinnigan's will be over there on July seventh. I've not been in McFinnigan's in a long time, and we finally got introduced to a dude, Ruben, who owns the place, and he's going to have Mike Taylor live presented by Texas Cheer Liquor out there July seventh. So you boys show up to McFinnigan's on July the seventh. If we have anything before July seventh, we'll obviously let you know, which leads to me to my next point. You want this show out on your spot? Hit me up. Slide up in our DMs. Message the Poomer or DJ LG or me. We're happy to bring this show on the road. I like I like sitting here. It's nice and comfortable, but it's I have more fun when we're out doing shit. Oh, like it's this way more fun people. to be yeah, with it's the way people. More fun. Yeah. It's a different vibe, that's for sure. You guys react a lot more to live audience. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure about that. Uh, like the Sam's Burger Joint bit last Wednesday. <laughs> that was memorable. Yeah, that was uh, absurdly memorable. Yeah. It was a fun time. Super fun time. Lawrence, have you seen my tongue? I've seen the picture you posted. Put it so. show on my, Uh-oh. Am, I, am I, on, I dead on camera? Yeah, it's a little out of focus, but <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did that the other night. You see the hole? No, but uh-huh. I can ah. imagine. 
fucking hurts yeah, to the yeah. touch too. And you just licked all over Puma's jar. Yeah, with an open wound. With an open wound. Open wound. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Again. Uh, <laughs> Us dolphins roll hard. I, I, yeah. I, apparently so. <laughs> Boy, do you have. <laughs> Look at my tongue. Wow. That's how it looks. Okay, cool. Every no. guy that tries <clears throat> to sell you Molly in the club is a dolphin in waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, the other night we got so I got so drunk, I couldn't even drive home. <laughs> leaving your house because well we'd been out in the sun all day too at the barbecue yeah that took a lot out of me and we went to the social spot another guy who had this had us out to hang and then we went back to your house and i knew i needed some dinner and we went to toro and had a really great dinner and the mistake i made was going back to your house and staying and drinking more yeah once you once Should you not re-entered the comfy confines of yeah my house Shouldn't it was have over. done that and so i was so hammered that i did i couldn't drive home and i remember hugging and i was well i vaguely remember hugging lawrence even good, though y'all were getting in the same car correct. i gave lg a goodbye hug that did happen yes knowing forgetting that he was actually riding home with us <laughs> as we took him home <laughs> mm-hmm. and so we drop him off and i'm like i pop in a piece of gum and I was so numb to the alcohol that I was consuming that I bit a massive fucking hole in the side of my tongue. Not really like a puncture hole, like the tongue split open like that. It's so mm. disgusting. It, it hurt like a oh, it fucking hurt, and it's still <laughs> sore, man. I need like ibuprofen. You got any ibuprofen, LG? It hurts, dude. We'll drink a lot of beer and then pop some ibuprofen. I love that the like basis. Hank Williams. The basis of well, Hank Williams replaced uh, cornbread yeah. nice tea for the pills in ninety proof. If you remember, uh-huh. uh huh. No, but it cracks me up that you literally you were just talking about how you were too drunk to chew gum. Yeah, but yet <laughs> now you're going to get drunk. Yeah, to get rid of the pain. Yeah, that you caused My life's from a being song. too drunk that you, you couldn't how long chew have a you piece known of me? gum. Two and a half years. Yeah. My life's a never-ending country song. You know that. It's just, we just <laughs> add a new verse every every quarter. It's basically like, it's as long as American Pie. It's as long as Don McLean, American Pie. We yeah. just keep adding verses. Absolutely. You think you're done? Nope, oh, yep, 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 yep. All right, subscribe to this thing and give us your money. You can shoot us a tip by um, buymeacoffee.com slash Mike Taylor Live. You can tip us a coffee. You can also jump into the Super Chats, and you can do that too. Thank you to James who bought us two coffees. We love your show. Thank you, James. Appreciate you hard. Uh, and we love you back, man. And I recognize that we ask you for money, <laughs> which is fine. Most of it goes back into production. You can see the you can see what we've done with all the money we've raised. Yeah, we got that? a black backdrop <laughs> right there. We got a right black there. sheet. <laughs> It looks a little bit better than, you know, yesterday. It does. We're, we're making bit progress. <laughs> it almost s- feels like we should put a green sheet up so then we could really have some fun. With- uh, yeah, that's there's a little more tech to it than just putting a sheet up. So, yeah. I Ooh, need, I need, you got told what's I up. Got shot. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We can do it, but I it mean, involves, on, it involves like me. maybe four more lights because I need to light the green screen okay. and then light you guys. So. Okay, he's got a good point. Yeah. He, all but, he all but called you son just now. As all because of four lights? Down. There's yeah. a lamp? There's a, no, there's I, a light? No, I need even diffused light on the green screen because any wrinkle to show it, it kills the effect. Marcus Seaman. Any shadows oh, kills the okay. effect. Okay, it's... Too, so. it's yeah. It'd be, be best. It'd be best just to paint Simian. the wall green. Paint oh, the wall okay. Green? Yeah. Well, and then we could really have some fun. Yeah. Now, now we're talking. Well, <laughs> I'm paranoid about losing my job. LG's Pornhub in space. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> because I think we're all pretty live paranoid. from the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Would you agree? You're paranoid about the future financially. hundred percent. Yeah. So we keep, who isn't? We keep most of the money we make on this show, which is why you see the high tech scene we have, because we don't. We try not to spend as much. But to show my appreciation for anyone who's subscribed to our show or liked it in these months we've been doing this thing or has tipped us a few bucks here and there, I do want to give you opportunities to get stuff back from us other than our wacky entertainment. And case in point, Thursday night. For those that don't know, I've been promoting this for a long time. You okay? No. No. Simeon pulled out too quick. No, se- <laughs> semen is not the problem. Semen is never the problem. 
It's this jackass uh, calling balls and strikes behind the plate. Semen can absolutely be a problem. Three inches off the outside of the plate with a 2-0 count, and he calls them both He's strikes. He's pretty calm about bitching to that umpire. Simeon is nothing but calm. He is, and it, and that's to his detriment too. Yeah, I was gonna say, what a pussy. He hasn't. He's still hitting under two hundred, and he's, you know, it's a. They've only committed seven years and one hundred and seventy five million dollars to him. So stupid. He'll pull out of stupid it. Stupid money. Semen will pull out of it eventually. <laughs> Simeon. So, Simeon. I want to give back to you, the viewer. And so Thursday night, we're offering up a kick ass time at the San Antonio Missions baseball game. 16 bucks. That don't go to us. It goes to the missions. However, it's super cheap. Our section, we're going to have our own section on Thursday night. Should be a pretty cool night. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it's going to be awesome. He and I are going to do the radio show from 4 to 7 on the concourse out there. And then we're going to go sit in our section. We're in section 116, by the way. And based on the sales, they may have to open up a section next door to us. Yeah, this might, may wind up being more than one might section. Might be one sixteen through one twenty. It could be. So for sixteen dollars a ticket, and tell the missions if you want to go, you call the box office. Tell them I want to sit in the mission section and the Thunderdome section. Rather, tell them you want to sit in the Thunderdome section, and it's sixteen bucks a head. Now eight dollars of that sixteen, they're going to give back to you in the form of a voucher, and it happens to be two dollar beer night, two dollar hot dog night, and two dollar whatever else night. And so basically, for, you're, you're spending 16 but they're going to give you an $8 voucher, and it's $2 beer night, so that's basically four beers. It's you're kind spending. of a ridiculous deal to be it's not stupid. to miss you. I don't know how they're going to make any money. That's what I, I've <laughs> been trying to do the math in my head. That, that was, was a drop. That was absolutely sorcerer DJ LG over there. That's amazing. Map. Just blowing up our eardrum. He's just crazy. And not at all an irresponsible broadcaster. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. At least I didn't sneeze on you. Could you ever date a chick that was missing a leg? Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I could. She walk, does she have a peg leg or a prosthesis? Well, I mean, it would be a, <laughs> it would be a, pros, <laughs> it would be a prosthetic that is removed at night. I prefer a peg leg. Lay in bed together. <laughs> as long as a, it doesn't have a kickstand, I'm good. Whoa. A kickstand. We're rolling here, and you had to cross the line. <laughs> a kickstand. <laughs> I'm being honest. I think it would be extremely difficult. And that girl in that last commercial was above moderately attractive. And then I realized the whole commercial was for some you know, pharmaceutical drug for people that are missing a leg. And I sat here and while you were pouring your heart out about the missions. I was just I'm still trying to get there and trying to get to the point. I was just asking myself in my own head, could I ever date a, a attractive Woman who was missing a leg. I don't think I could. Only if it was a peg leg, like I said. I had a bone. That would do it for you? Yeah, peg leg. <laughs> An eye patch? No, God, no. Don't get crazy. A real me. puffy shirt. <laughs> Hair it on the shoulder. <laughs> I went to high school with a dude named Thomas, and he worked for a company in Fort Worth that made prosthetic pieces for people that had their foot blowed off or something. Okay. What do you call those? It was freaks. Again, I think it's. Uh, Ripples. Uh, believe the <laughs> believe the God, correct know. term is probably what's the nomenclature? Uh, w- wait, is disabled even out now? Amputee, amputee. amputee. That, let's go with that. Like, do you? It's amputee. Disabled is still. I think that works. That works, right? I think so. Even yeah. though the disabled list is gone in baseball, I don't know. Y'all, ha- y'all have the, changed the name of everything. I grew up here. It's the injured list. The it's the injured. IL, not the DL, which of course all I makes could. more sense. By the way, you're the offensive one on here. I would. I couldn't think much sure I could date a girl who didn't have two legs. I'm, that's not offensive. That's me being honest. I was yeah, asking. Yeah, but it's, it's a horrible thing. It's I was horrible, asking an honest question. It's a horrible way of of thinking. So would you rather me lie and not hmm. be myself, not be no, honest? No, you should be honest, but it is offensive. Uh oh, we got a rundown sitch. He's out. Yeah, that, he's not even trying. He's not paid to run. No, he 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 defected. He didn't defect in order to get caught in rundowns. <laughs> he's not my Don. He's your Don. Yeah, I know. I like your Don. That's a Dan Patrick line Throw from thirty years hair, ago. Generic ass Phil Mickelson looking first baseman Texas has. Anyway, <laughs> so he does look like a golfer. <laughs> we are going to the missions game. We're going to do the radio show four to seven. 16 bucks to sit in our section. Tell the missions box office you want to sit in the Thunderdome section. Uh, I'm going to throw the first pitch out. Excited about that. We'll 
See if I can get to 75 miles per hour. I'm telling you, I want you to Trevor Bauer that thing and just turn and try to chunk it out. That would be so the, badass. Oh, right over center field. I just walk out there and turn around and throw it over the center field At wall. At least maybe go right and left field just to shorten the distance Put two a big old bit. big deuces in the air. I Fuck like everybody. It. I like it. <laughs> it should be a – no bullshit. It's going to be a special night because they're going to wear Uvalde High School jerseys, and they're going to auction off the jerseys. So if you want to buy a Missions Uvalde High School Coyote jersey, uh, the mission, the uh, the auctions to be going on during the game, and it's going to last like ten minutes after the last out. So that's pretty cool. And it's Thunderdome night, man. And I'm going to taunt the shit out of the right fielder for Topo Chico or whoever the hell they're playing. Amarillo sod poodles. The sod poodles. The fighting hated sod what poodles shit-ass of name Amarillo. That is. Shit bag name. So here, here's the other thing. In addition to the eight dollar voucher, listen up, Thunderdome. I've got free pizza for you. There is a pizza joint on the second level of Wolf Stadium called Sophia's. That's a draw. Sophia's Pizzeria. It's right behind it's right behind home plate. <laughs> on the outside on, in the foyer. What do you call that? The foyer? Uh, concourse. Concourse. Yes, sir. Upper concourse behind home plate. Sophia's Pizzeria. Go up there and when you order a slice of pizza say, love you hard. And they'll give you a free slice of pizza for everyone you purchase. What's it called? Bogo? Bogo. Bogo. Again, not something millennials created, something that's been around for generations. Bogo. Buy, Buy one, one, get one free slices of pizza one. at Sophia's Pizzeria at Wolf Stadium on Thursday night. All you got to do is say love you hard and you're good to go. All right. You know, if, if she was just missing a foot, I think I could do that. If it was a, still if it was on a, this? I'm, just, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, because I'm trying. You've made me feel awful about myself, so I'm, I think I could do a footless partner. But the leg is mm. just too much to ask. Are you serious? I think so, You're man. Crazy. I think so. <laughs> I think it depends on which part what of the is leg. It about? How much of the leg <laughs> is left? <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm saying. How much of the leg is left? No. no. Is yeah. I'm saying Are they just missing shins like no. Hank Hill's We're dead, talking or? like... We're talking like <laughs> three quarters of a thigh. Yeah, I don't know if gone. I could do Yeah, yeah. Maybe if it's like you know, the knee, you know, the shins are gone. No, that might one be and right, a quarter but. legs. <laughs> one and a quarter what? legs I couldn't yeah. do. Yeah. But two legs, one foot. a little weird, that's for sure. Two legs, one foot, I don't think. I think I could. I don't know. One foot would be weird. You think that'd be weirder <laughs> than. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess it's no weirder. That's what I'm saying. I think, I think that's the. That's probably where I draw the line on that hypothetical. Y'all are awful. How are we awful? The only way I wouldn't, the only way I couldn't with a woman is if her vagina got blown off. You're awful. (laughs) (laughs) I see nothing but inner beauty, and I. You won't fuck a one-legged woman. Because I am transparently honest. I would fuck a woman with no arms or legs if she was that sweet of a girl. But No, you would. Once the vagina gets blown off, we're done. You'd fuck a torso as long as it had a vagina. Sure. (laughs) That's what I'm learning. Yeah. That's That's right. That speaks way worse about you than me saying. How are you supposed to have sex if she ain't got a vajigi? No, again, that's. I I I'm see making where, sense. You're being an I asshole. I see where you're, you're being an asshole. I see where your line is. I'm saying. How do you get a vagina blown off and nothing else? It's a damn good question. Stick that, a dynamite. But it, oh, well, yeah. genital know. castration. Yeah, Ooh, that no, is man. still taking place daily uh, okay. across our globe. Why do you have to focus on what Egypt's doing? To hell with them. Again. It's not just Egypt. <laughs> I think it's okay. Morocco, multiple Tangier. Hey, that, let's leave Libya. Tangier out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Libya is pretty progressive these days. Ever no, since they're it. not. <laughs> <laughs> they are not. They, they, I hear. I hear avocado toast is on the rise in Libya. They just <laughs> opened up their first birria food truck. Oh, that's because they've murdered half their population. The only people left are under twenty-eight. Which we need, by the way. We those murdered part. a lot of their we population. Need that. We need that in those countries over there. Which part of that? The murdering of all everybody over 40. Okay, again. All those countries will be better off. You could say that about some first world countries as well. <laughs> I want to talk about our new our new mascot. Where'd she go? Does she have all four Where's feet? she at, LG? I want to introduce I showed her last night, but I think you were outside smoking dope. 
No, did she actually make it onto the? No, not that. The, no, don't be throwing. Not, that. not, not, <laughs> don't, not don't our grab my dolphin. Not our metaphor. Yeah, but you, <laughs> oh, you have to, <laughs> you have to ask for consent to grab his dolphin. The live sweetheart. I want to show. Oh, no, it's it's always open consent for we me. We need to better our karma here. So Lawrence got a dog, a little miniature schnauzer. Um, she probably won't come over here and get close enough. Oh, yeah, she voices will. are loud. Oh, come my here, God, look girl. at that. Show come here, this. little girl. We need to be- better our karma come after here, the last five minutes of talk. Come look here. at this thing. Come look. here, you little thing. Look at that. We're perverts with a heart. Look at that look at little that. thing. Oh, my God, look at that. This is Ellie the Miniature Schnauzer. Ellie, L- this is Wheezy F Baby. Okay, LG's not approved that. Please say the motherfucking. Don't call her Wheezy <laughs> F Baby. Her name's Ellie. Her name's Eloise, but LG shortened it to Ellie. Eloise. Oh, yeah. He just got Shorten her last night. Shortened to Wheezy. Night. I'm trying to use hushed tones right now. Why? It's my golf broadcaster voice. Yep, she's a shelter she's baby. She's skittish, and Where she's coming along. Jim La- Nance on Last me. night when I got here, she ran out of the table, and we've made a lot of progress here. I don't want to mess it up. So she slept with LG last night, right? In your bed with you? Oh yeah. Was she? Did she go right to sleep, or was <clears> she still kind of creeped out by you? Yeah, she was a little nervous at first, you know, sniffing so around. Sweet. But then she just passed out. No, she's Such gonna a be a good heart. addition. I've Pat- come a long way on pets. I never. I always feared having a pet. Do you not have? Oh, well, I did. I got warped. Had a real okay. bad scene when I was a kid. Uh-oh. Remember the hamster story? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you not heard this, LG? I don't know. I might have. You can refresh us. I'm su- sure some of the watchers haven't heard it the yet. The Teddy and the Freddy Nightmare? Yeah, no, I, was, I don't know that uh, one. We were living in uh, Lakewood, California. I was eight. And I I had a dog at six, but he only lasted two weeks because a bus hit him and blew his innards all over the highway in Oklahoma City. And they lied and told me that they just didn't have room for him in the apartment anymore. I found out later he got hit by a huge truck or something. But he was only there two weeks, so I didn't have time to give a shit. <laughs> But I was ready for another pet, and I was probably eight. We were living in California, and my mom, Grandma Becky, went and got me a hamster. Sweet. I got a hamster. That's cool. It's easy. It's doesn't. It just shits in the tank, and it's easy to take care of. It just sits there. And yeah, drink, pretty harmless. Drinks out of the water and spins the wheel and fucks off in the hay or whatever, dude, the saw, whatever you put in there. And we named him Teddy. And that was it. So a couple of months go by, and everything's great. Teddy's rolling. We're having a good time. And I decided that I wanted a second hamster. And so they went and bought a second hamster. Uh-oh. Named the second hamster Freddy. <laughs> now I had a Teddy and a Freddy. This is, oh. ringing, this is ringing a bell now. Starting oh, to is come it really? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I, my mother was a dumbass, you know. So it is what it is. My mom was 15 when I was born. So when I was 8, my mom was 23. You know, she didn't know much about hamsters. It was the early 80s. It's a different time. We didn't eat birria tacos or eat avocado on our toast, and we didn't know shit about hamsters. So she got this second hamster. Probably should have got gotten Freddy, the other hamster, its own tank, right? Possibly. Grandma Becky, I hear, go get the fuck in there. <sighs> puts him in there. Puts him, puts him in there with the other one. Freddy didn't. Freddy's like, whoa. Okay, whatever. Freddy went to the corner of the tank. He's like, <laughs> like what the fuck? But then it was, everything was fine. They figured it out. They figured it out. And I thought, okay, this is fine. We got a Teddy and got a Teddy and a Freddy. It's all good. They just roamed in the little tank together. Probably, I don't know. I'm saying I'm thinking three months or so ish. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. Or was that that was a coffee, wasn't yep, it? it was five coffee. coffees. Y'all, Anonymous donor. Thank you. Y'all need to subscribe to our show, man. I want to hear come on now, Spire, somebody subscribe. There so smash that like button. Smash it. That was a, is that what y'all say? Uh, he nailed it. Smash it, bro. Link in bio. Smash oh, that smash like. Smash it. You made it to the end of the video. Might as well subscribe. We're three months into the second hamster experiment. It's probably 3 a.m. I'm dead asleep. The, they're in, I just kept hearing. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Those things are being loud. And I'm just trying to get some sleep. And finally, it, they were getting so loud. It woke up my mother and my stepdad, Ernest. And I had my back turned to the cage. It was in the same room. I was just trying to get some sleep. I was eight years old. I remember Ernest coming in, my stepdad, Ernest, who's dead, the one that's buried under a fake name (laughs) at at TDC. (laughs) By his fake name, buried by the government. 
He was, indeedy. And he comes in, I, the light turns on, and I'm holding, hiding my face because it's 3 a.m. and he turns the light on, and all I hear him say is, holy fuck. Becky, get in here. I'm not cleaning this up. I'm like, oh, shit. So he's, like, he's like, Michael, you need to help your mother clean that shit up. And I'm like, what the hell? So I get up, dude. And I look, I walk over to the tank where Teddy and Freddie were. Freddie was on his back like this. Oh, no. With his guts hanging out. Oh, no. <laughs> they couldn't reconcile their differences. Teddy bit him up till he died. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what else Teddy, and then Teddy had something in his mouth. Over um, in the corner was something hanging out of his mouth. Take a guess on what it was. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, <laughs> say it was, it's, it's, <laughs> It was a. It was his hamster penis, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it was a dead, chewed up, newborn hamster. Ah, okay. Little pink, no hair thing. Yeah. Mm. So Teddy and Freddie, we were give, we gave them wrong names based on their gender. Mis misgendered them. My mom was a dumbass. Remember, I already already prefaced by saying my mother was a dumbass. It's a very closed-minded perspective. One of those ham one of those hamsters was a boy. The other was a girl. They made a baby, and the the dad couldn't handle. Freddie couldn't handle it. Chewed the baby embryo out of the other hamster, and was chowing on it in the corner of the cage. Your Freddie stories, was a psychopath. Your is stories the point. don't just end in death; <laughs> they end in grisly. <laughs> extremely detailed death it's unbelievable it's also it's actually also completely believable my mom freddie helter skeltered the other fucking hamster my except didn't write helter skelter on the wall ate the baby that's what that's God what they that's what damn. rodents do my mom Fuck. as a uh, elementary school student they had she would always have rats story ain't over yet like I'm, not I got hamsters more, i got more <laughs> long rats Ugh. and they would do the exact oh, like same rat thing rats. rat rats like, you kill the pregnant one yep and eat the babies. God damn. Rip it out of the body. Something with Holy rodents. Holy shit. And so I, I'm totally freaked out. My mom cleaned the cage out, got the dead hamster out. I'm like, <laughs> fucking A. And the other hamster went ahead and ate the whole baby, swallowed it whole. <sighs> and that's it. We go to bed. And we left Freddie in the cage. He's chilling. <laughs> he just committed double homicide. He's just chilling in there. Mm. He's drinking water, washing the baby down. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> we go back to bed, and about an hour goes by, and I hear. And I'm like, what the fuck now with this fucking hamster? He's already committed double homicide. Flip the lights on. He's bashing his head in the side of the, uh, the aquarium. He's gone. <laughs> And he had already crushed his head open. He doing knows it. what he knows what he had did. So his scalp was now ripped open, and he's bleeding out. Why do we he keep killed himself as pets. by bashing his head? So this fucking animal knocks up the other one. She gets pregnant. He gnaws the baby out of her guts. Kills her. Eats the baby and then commits suicide by backing up and ramming his head on the cage. Pop, pop, pop. That, that actually, and that Ernest is like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" That doesn't sound so far off from some of the murder suicides on the north side. He's here just bashing town. his head and bashing his head. He's all fucked up. He's got blood flying out of his head. You know what Ernest does? Now this is the guy who died in prison. <laughs> Ernest takes a, a like a like a, a dish towel. Grabs Freddy out of that motherfucker, wraps him in the dish towel, and just whoom, yep. crushes him with his hand. I thought you were going to say he wrapped and then just smashed him against the floor. No, Ernest being the psychopath that he was. He did it with his own hands. Just decided to crush the fucking thing. Just, cr just, just crushed him out. Have so, you ever killed an animal like that ever in your life? On purpose? Yeah, God outside no. of like a bug or something. Mm, bugs only. Bugs only. Yeah. We used to t we used to put grasshoppers and we'd stick them on little black cats and well, tape of course. And, I mean, that's a rite of passage. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just Worms. can't imagine even like a rodent like that. I couldn't imagine. Like yeah. When, like when our like if we ever have a a, ma a mouse in the house or something, I can't imagine just squeezing it to death. I like think that. I killed one, but it, I didn't. 
I hit it. I hit it with what I hit it with. I hit it. What the hell did I have? I had in my hand. I had a broom. We had a rat in the house at the hellscape. I told you this. Oh story. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we ch- I chased him out from behind the stove, and I had a like baseball bat style. He came running at me with a broom, and I had a broom. Boom! Just to slam that motherfucker back against the cabinet door, and he ran out. And I finally got him out of the house, and he ran off and probably killed over after suffering. I hit a squirrel with a golf ball one time. That was bad. I told you that story. No. Tyler Country Club in Tyler, Texas. Oh, thank God, light the candles. We need karma after these fucking stories. Yeah, for real. A I'm, lot of death. I tee off at a golf course up in Tyler, and it's a warm burner. <sighs> Never left more than two feet off the ground. Sounds like it's a squirrel burn. And Yeah, well, there was a squirrel probably 150 yards away, man. I, I hit the ball, and it went straight left towards some trees. And I saw the squirrel, you know. I'm like, wait, no, there's no, what are the odds? It's just a poor little squirrel just chilling. Beep, 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 beep. And the ball, golf ball going 400 miles an hour, boom, nails him right in the side. Boom. <laughs> and the fucker falls over, and he, like, jumps. He, got, he, full, he flops back up, and he's on. he starts trying to crawl off. But it, whatever it happened, it paralyzed him. His back feet didn't work, and he's, like, had his front feet working to leave, but his back feet were dragging behind yeah, him. Yeah, you, just you crushed severed him. his spine yeah, is what I you did. Yeah, severed his spine. And Christopher reeved him. I'm sorry about that. It's a personal hero of mine. Oh, is it really? Well, then I Christopher Reeved his ass. I roll up on you like Christopher Reeve. <laughs> like the old D12 lyric. Severed him like Greg <laughs> Abbott. Is that better? I like that. Okay, good. And that poor little squirrel. And I went running over there because I, I, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna have to whack him with a golf club. I can't have this squirrel suffering. But he was able to crawl under into a hole where, under the tree. <laughs> and die he got in away. peace. He probably suffered for days. There's no question Golly, he did. That was unintentional. But, yes, I've murdered animals on accident. That was inadvertent. I don't think – there aren't many animals outside of insects that I have taken the life of and not – eaten that's all to say right by the way after. that's why you can imagine i had a hard time with a pet after the hamster fiasco yeah yeah what was the next pet you had after that uh i was in my 30s <laughs> a pug dog that yeah. my ex-wife bought for the tw- uh, my, yeah, my two big the, kids yeah. after the divorce to make him feel better a comfort animal <laughs> <laughs> is that the one that's um Molly. inspired the the Picture on the both of y'all's dogs inspired that. No, no, that his picture, dog right? inspired that dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was kind of an amalgamation of inspiration. Yeah, yeah. And the dog from the the skydiving dog. That's what I'm talking whatever. about. The skydiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog. The yeah. skydiving dog was an homage to both of our dogs together because your dog was in heaven. Mm-hmm. No. Well, actually, our dog is in the ground about okay. 20 miles north of here. But yeah, sure, he's he's in doggy heaven. Let's go with that. He's actually. It could be kids watching in the a show. Shallow grave. God, I hope with, not. God, I hope rocks. not. Yeah. Uh, I think the kids That's probably. Bad parenting. Right I think there. the parents <laughs> cut it off when we were talking about. Well, if it's got a vagina, I'll Yally. fuck it. <laughs> I can't fuck it if it doesn't have a vagina. No arms, no legs. About, vagina still works. <laughs> what do you think about Pulisic's new hair there? Did you see that? No, rewind that. Can we go back? He's rolling with the frosted tips. You, you might no, be able to rewind it. Douchebag. No, I can't. LG's remote is impossible to work. It's, 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 it's kind of remote. It's, it's, it's this. It's the shittiest thing Apple's it's ever Pulisic, made in their life. So They've already replaced it. You what can, do you do with this thing? It's terrible. It's the worst What is there ever. better to do on a Tuesday night in El Salvador then watch the national team play. This Murder is like, people is what they normally They're do. They're probably super pissed off because the whole country is relying on Bitcoin right now. This is El what? Salvador? Hold on. What are we doing in El Salvador? I missed that. What is the El Salvadorian <laughs> government doing relying on Bitcoin? They made it their official currency about a year ago. How did I really? miss that? Yeah. How's God. that going for them? Not well right now. Not That's well for sure. right now. No. I almost wish I was from a country like that where you could just... It's another country that needs to be taken over no, by a coup by no. us. Just get it over with. I almost... I, well, we... This could, one and the uh, Honduras. God, they're so fucked up. We've Honduras, already... Honduras needs to be... They need, they need to be... They, they, their country, their sovereignty needs to be taken away. We've already played They've lost their the rights. former uh, bombing grounds country uh, this international break. We Honduras? Played, 
No, we played uh, Granada already. We oh fit, yeah. There's no more. There's no other country that, that we've uh, tried to invade. Grenada. Uh, on where, the the, hell, where the hell is Grenada? Grenada. Remember the SNL like bit? By so funny. New Guinea, right? Grenada. It's like right there, Guinea. Grenada. In Grenada. I dated a girl. She was amazing. <laughs> yes. Okay. A beautiful Latin woman. <laughs> yes. But she stepped on an IED and her vagina got blown <laughs> okay. off. Okay. And I couldn't bang her anymore because she lost a vagina. Grin. It's actually in the Caribbean, just south of uh, yeah. Martinique and Saint Lucia. That was my next guess. Yep. Yeah. Right off right, the right coast. Right north of Trinidad and Tob- Tobago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trinidad and Tobago. Hey. Hey, man. I sounded like a Yankee. That was something like right something near like a New the Yorker. beach. We don't. It's pouring ass rain We here don't in like. El yeah, Salvador. right off the beach of Guyana. 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 Guyana? Guyana. Guyana. French Guyana. French Guyana. Guyana. And Guyana. Sure. Two different countries. Cool. Right off the coast of Guyana. Okay. I, I need a segue right into your that. wife's car. Give me one. Three, uh, three, two, why are we go. uh why are we segueing into my wife's car? It's perfectly fine and functional. There's no no visible issues whatsoever. I have no I, idea. Well, it's got a fucked up windshield where someone well, hit it trying to break into it, or were they just being an asshole? No, there were no just signs of no signs of break in, and there wow, were multiple to be an asshole. There were multiple cars on the street outside of the bar the next morning that all had bashed. Watch this, LG. Listen, probably some homeless bum. Well, that would... Probably some piece of shit homeless bum did it. That would require them to have the... Some whack job. The nutrition and <laughs> energy to be able to bash in a windshield, but unfortunately, we don't care about their livelihood. Look enough. at the fucking field. Why is Christian Pulisic... You know Chelsea's like, get his ass off the pitch. Yeah, I think Chelsea's kind of fine with Look it. Look at the they're, fucking field. That's awful. So they held a concert there last year. How many murders... I mean, uh, and how many people have died okay, on this fucking pitch? listen. Fucking they, El Salvador. They did a concert there last weekend, and they're, they were still <laughs> finding metal in... Look how horrible this field is. ...in the grass... Yesterday during training. Why are we sending the United States soccer team to El Salvador to play? Make their fucking ass come up here. For the same reason. The this is bullshit. Same reason England travels to the Faroe Islands. or That's Gibal- bullshit. Gibraltar. I'll bet in Djibouti they have a better fucking field. This is ridiculous. Look at that. Oliver Wendell Holmes High has a shit ton better field than that. That's awful. I, Again, I would think a proper Gen Xer would say this only builds. Uh, nah, fuck that. Rip them. No, take the sovereignty <laughs> away from these sons of bitches. Perseverance and teaches no. you uh, no. not every condition is going to be no. ideal. We need a 50th state, and it's El Salvador. Make that the 50th state. A 51st. State. What I was about to say? What are you? 51st. 51st, 51st. 51st has got to no. be. Is it Puerto Rico? Puerto or Rico. Yeah, not, they're not 51st. We're not jumping Puerto Rico in the line. Uh, okay, 52nd. Just a bit outside. <laughs> If we would, if we would just nuke Honduras, we'd have no more immigration issues. It'd be minimal. It'd go way down. What? It'd go way down. <laughs> nuke Honduras. What do you and, think and Honduras? Problem. What do you think Honduras contributes to our annual undocumented citizens in Texas, mostly? And what percent of undocumented people crossing the border are Honduran? Ninety-five. No. <laughs> You're watching too much <laughs> OAN. We're living the dream on WOAI, brother. We're uh, living the dream. <laughs> There's another caravan forming. Just wait till they get here, brother. Let's get our AR-15s to get down there and defend Texas. The Come dreams. on. Let's go. The dream never stops. Yeah, that's right. These 14-year-old Mountain Tondurans need to be stopped with AR-15s, <laughs> buddy. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Line them up. <laughs> Let's get Let the militia. From you. Let's get the militia. Live with the dream. <laughs> Blind, crooked, or crazy, you all get AR-15. 16 to 60, let me hear from you, AR-15. I'm going to name my next fucking kid AR-15. Call him AR for short. I'm just going to name him him Rife. (laughs) Rife. (laughs) I'm going to name his cousin Scope. (laughs) (laughs) We got got my cousin Bump, short for Bump Stock. That's right. Don't outlaw them. They They make America free. That's a long way to say. Since when did it become illegal to be a proud boy? I'm proud oh of being God. a boy. I'm trying to do an R&R Tell me, why glass is that fuck? so illegal? What are you going to get your old lady's fi- fucking glass fixed in her car? Look, we're working on it. I got bigger issues. You've been working on it since February. Have you seen what Biden's done to this economy? How can anybody <laughs> replace their windshield I got to right hook now? up an R&R Auto Glass. For fuck's sake, put the logo on there, Lawrence. You'll get a discount when you mention me. Thanks they a lot, love, Brandon. They love my ass. 
Get your ass over there at R and R. Tell them who you are. Tell them you mentioned mentioned my ass, and they'll fix her windshield and give you a really nice discount. Right there by the airport at two eighty one in the coma. When's that gonna happen? You don't wake up till ten. That's the problem. Uh, well, I think, good Lord, do you see that? That dude just slid across the field. Yeah, I saw it. And it, it literally ridiculous. looks like, Stupid. It, it looks it's like dumb. a redneck Riviera mud and track. Well, and if y'all get a chance tonight, <laughs> don't turn us off, but go watch the CONCACAF uh, well, look, game tonight. It's, it's ridiculous, the, this fucking field they're playing. It's, it's the three minute and 40 second mark. Join us. That's a handball. Good God. Join us. Uh, no one cares about soccer. I think we can do a play by play here. Boy, it's we won't ass. Be in trouble. Just, just trust me, it's ass. Ass. The field conditions are terrible, and playing Pelusa is just bullshit. They should have left him at the hotel. He can go down to the whorehouse and back and go and get some pizza and stay in the damn hotel. It's ridiculous. What are we at here? This is four, six. There's only there's only two more games for the national team left before the World Cup. Look at these people. There's actually two people more the after game. today. That's what I was saying. I'm surprised there's not more. Well, well they, went, they had to go to the game because it's the only place in this whole city that has lights that work. Again. They won't get murdered because Do the lights are Do you realize on. one of the biggest cities <laughs> in our state doesn't have water right now? But, ah, yeah, it's West let's Texas, keep cracking em. jokes about El Salvador's <laughs> infrastructure. Do you realize, oh, like, tens of people died in this country because our infrastructure is so shit? But, yeah, uh, we're sitting here making fun of El Salvador. Ten people get murdered a day in a country the size of a dot. El Salvador. You're talking about murder. I'm talking about the failure of our infrastructure. Love it or leave it, brother. Love uh, it or I, leave it, Scope. You want to go to El? You 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 <laughs> like you trust El Salvador's power so much? Why don't you move there? <laughs> Fix your wife's car already. Do I need to go do it? Fix the power grid and then no. Okay, I'm going to emasculate you. I'm going to go do it myself. God, Dude, you'd be so you pissed think, if I did. You think? <laughs> I think you I think, think you would. I can be emasculated. <laughs> That's the first thing. Like what? What you, you can? Doing? How? Calling your son pisses you off. That doesn't emasculate me. It just offends you. It offends me. Why is that word offend you, by the way? I call people son all the time. I, I've had to tell myself not to call you son because I thought you were going to beat me up last time. It's mainly, it's more of a, because I understand the southern dismissiveness that is uh, see, I don't colloquially get that. I didn't grow attached up that to that. Yeah. I grew up in the city. No, I grew up hearing every day, listen to me, son. Oh, it's a way to put you in your place. 100%. Oh, it's a place. And I'm talking from my dad, from my grandpa, from my coach, from my history teacher, from my principal. It's all making sense now. It's just hick. It's a place setter. 100%. Show you where you stand. It's it's the way, if you want to let a redneck know where he stands on your social hierarchy, call him son. Oh, okay. Interesting. What's that? Check my phone. Hang on. Just really say some more things the... about how much you hate your daddy. No, no. Check your phone. Apparently, my wife is sliding into DMs, and you know how, we're fine. She's ready to be. It ain't she's the first ready time, bud. For me to be emasculated. It ain't the first time. Please here, take the headphones. Y'all do the show. Oh, see. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's do the. Uh, uh, I don't see it, Steph. Just come sit on my lap and whisper it in Mike my ear. in the room. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What are they oh. going to do when a key player gets hurt in this piece of shit game? Have we not qualified for the cup yet? Is that Dude, why we're having to play this ass back game? Trials like this are what create team unity. They come down there, have a hard fart win, yeah. play through all these conditions. Right. That's momentum creating. Momentum uh. generating. Uh, hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, to, to be completely honest, I think it's really stupid. I was, I was massively shocked that Pulisic was even listed as a bench player, much less a starter. Uh, the fact that any guys that were relying to be starters at the World Cup are playing right. in this game right now is insane. It's pouring down. It's been raining for the last four days. The field is a no way international competition level out quality we should it's we should shitty. Have, it's awful we should have just sent awful. our we should have just sent our just awful d team down there all right thanks so much to jm pool and spa to also the ipsa organization my boy george he represents jm pool and spa and support this radio this radio this television show i always forget we're on tv or YouTube, I guess. We're on the TV. On the TV, and uh, we're helped by the Independent Pool and Spa Service Association. 
in this area, a bunch of cool, good dudes and girls that own pool and spa companies that basically give back to charity. They gave us a thousand bucks for the barbecue this year, that IPSA. And with help from George at um, JM Pool and Spa. And a matter of fact, I guess George doesn't care if I talk about this. They want to put a cool zone next year at the barbecue. Oh, you mentioned that. Same guy. Yeah, with the mister and, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they want, to have, they want to put a big tent on the field, right, with misters like you see at rock concerts and Six Flags, misters, free water. They want to have a cool zone because it got so damn hot uh, at the barbecue this year. Probably pretty good, huh? Sound pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Would have been pretty good this year. It sounds uh, great for through next it. year. Sounds great for next year. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we good. We good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to harp so much on the El Salvadorians, but there this is if this is in Chicago, they don't play the game with a field like this. This is outrageous. No, God no. But I mean again, this is This is in Paducah, Kentucky, they don't play the fucking game. No. It's ridiculous. No, no, and that's why, I mean, I kid. This is on CONCACAF for allowing a team to field a fucking game like of this magnitude with that kind of feel. That's bullshit. The problem is CONCACAF won't invest the money to support teams that can't generate the money themselves. Well, then kick their ass out of CONCACAF. You can't. You can't just Or just, just make Central America one giant country. Huh? Well, that's oh, what I got you to pause. Well, how so? What Central, do you mean? Call it Central America. But Mexico is in Central America. Well, no, they, Mexico they, is in North America. That technically, was dumb. Yeah, yeah, just make all the little countries except for Costa Rica. They have their shit together. All the rest of them should be one damn country. So why? What about Honduras? Who they're, qualified? They're the worst. What do you mean? They're the fucking worst. But all you the can't murders just they say. Have? You can't just, uh, again, okay. I mean. Okay, I was kidding earlier. 95% of the people that are undocumented that come across the border are not Honduran, but a lot are. Sure. A shit ton are. Sure. And pound for pound for a country that small, for it to be that big a percentage, that country sucks. Ass. And I don't know what the, what's the answer if it's not rip their sovereignty away from them and take them over. I mean that's a very imperialist uh, perspective okay. for you to give me, hold. Give me an option. Give me an alternative because that place is horrible and it needs uh, it needs assistance. Just keep letting them govern themselves and, and try to figure it out on their own, and we mm. keep our hands away and don't interfere in the foreign doings of other sovereign countries. But their folks are coming up here, and we have to deal with them. Sure, and we should. We're a country that's accepting of. But we're not. We send Billy Bob down there with his AR. We're up in the my list. We can make sure these 14-year-old malnourished boys don't come over here and cause trouble. Again, at the end of the day, Billy Bob can do that to feel better about himself. But Billy Bob's not affecting our foreign policy when it comes to immigration at our borders. Now, Honduras needs to be done something with. And the El Salvadorian soccer pitches need to have something done with them, too. This isn't even a soccer pitch. It's terrible. I mean, this literally looks like a. It looks like, it looks like my grandpa's pasture after a heavy rain and cow shit all over exactly. the week. All exactly, right, that's it. We're done. All right, y'all. Love y'all very hard. Thank everybody for being a part of this one. Appreciate y'all very much. Did you get in all the sponsors? I did, sir. All yes, right, I cool. did. <laughs> I did. It's I, had wo- the, I had to take the. Dog dog always worried it's about. Always worried Damn, about. Damn, look at Pulisic. Oh yeah. hell yeah. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, we got a fight. Yes. Nice. Uh-oh. All right. This is my favorite thing. When these little shithole countries get scrappy in soccer, that's my favorite thing. Because this is, you talk about, that was a cheap shot, and he knows it. When are we back, mm-hmm. LG? Tuesday? Not back for a week. Yes, sir. All right. Because we had the special show last night, and we have the missions game Thursday night, we won't do another Mike Taylor Live until a week from tonight on Tuesday. Right here from the from the sex couch, unless somebody steps up in the next six days and buys this show. Do you want this show done at your place? Slide into my DMs and let's talk about it. All right. Love y'all hard. Thank you so much to Puma. Huh. You let me do that. Thank you. To oh, LG. I was just waiting until I can finish my point about how oh. international soccer no. is the level. Are we done? Why you got mad at this, but I got done? to touch you on the titty. I got mad at what? You got mad through the dolphin earlier when I was just trying to make it. Yeah, because <laughs> that's not going to do anything for me. You pinched my nipple and. Oh, that made it jump. We're good. All right, cool. We'll see y'all Tuesday later. Thank you, boys. Oh, come back, you puppy. Mike Taylor Live is presented by. 
Texas Cheer Liquor.